Hello there my fellow Holo Table here and welcome to another Rise of the Empire Territory Battles uh, video. So I've already done a lot of these kind of videos, uh, full clearing first three sectors and then I even showed you uh, how I can fully autoplay sector one and I'm back now with sector two as well with autoplaying. Unfortunately I wasn't able to get all the missions to be able to be autoplayable even in some of them that you do have to autoplay you have to a little bit babysit your team move the target around and things like that uh, so I will not be showing you the missions that can't be autoplayed in this one if you want to see those there will be a link in the description below uh, to my Swagger for Life website where you can see how you can manually play those missions through here I'll just focus on the missions that I can autoplay or half autoplay-ish uh, you will see as we are getting through them. Uh, so as always, uh, we'll start on the dark side with this video. So we're going first to Geonosis. And uh, here, the two missions that uh, I won't be able to autoplay is the fleet mission. Obviously, this one uh, you can barely win on manual, like, I don't know, one out of four times, depending on RNG. Uh, Geos one, uh, it's it's a 100% win rate if you do remod and play it manually, but again, I'm not gonna do this in this video, I've done that in a different guide already. This one will just kick off here with Rick, uh, with a trench squad which can autoplay this uh, quite easily. So just in the start of the battle we'll just put uh, Tank Tech over on Django just to boost his damage. We're gonna hit autoplay at this point and then just try and move the target over on Geo Brute Alpha as soon as you can, so you can get it down. Uh, okay, there we go. Sure, then the, you know they are just doing whatever they can. Uh, what they're doing? There we go. We got a ton dispel again. So again, try to move the target onto Jude Brute Alpha. I've I've won this without moving the target, uh, but it's just safer if you do. To be honest, and it just takes a minute anyway. It's not like you have to sit here for 20 minutes and move the target around. I mean, as soon as this uh, Jude Brute Alpha is down. Uh, again, so you can see AI targeted their Rick already, but there was still one Geo alive. So that's why I want to maybe see them a little bit for a minute while they're working for all of these guys. But once you're just down to Rick, I mean, the Trent squad, boom! Especially Django, you know, they pack a punch. The next mission we'll be auto playing is Acolyte. This one is even easier. There's just one target to hit, so you don't have to worry about moving target around. Uh, I think even before I had Riva, I was able to do this uh, with Grand Inquisitor as well, uh, just autoplay it. But obviously Riva makes it even easier to complete. Up next, uh, we've got Nexu. Now this one I can't, you would be able to autoplay technically, but Darth Vader is just an absolute idiot in Merciless Massacre. Uh, so just until I finish my Merciless Massacre, I'm autoplaying and then I, I go basically and hit autoplay. Going to Merciless. Uh, do a force crush, just do kind of a round of basics here on these guys. A basic on Sunfac, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and call Spy. That should finish him. Uh, do another force crush, uh, fracture their uh, their tank. Then I'm gonna target you, Brute Alpha, and then at this point you can now basically hit auto play. You should be good to go. Uh, we got their tank uh, fractured, so they can't do a whole lot. And as well, we only got Spy out of here, you know, their main damage dealer. And at this point, you know, on other play, you should be safe here as well to finish off next to, uh, you know, Lord Vader is quite durable there. And uh, that's it really uh, for the Geonosis, uh, mostly auto playable, uh, some babysitting involved in some of them. Now, Felucia is actually the only planet here in Sector 2 that I can auto play all the missions. Again, some of them do require your attendance. Uh, so let's start first with the Young Lando mission. So using Supreme the Color Ren here. Uh, to start off, uh, what I want to do here is a stun Imperial Officer. Okay, then I'm going to wait for Hux to get a turn and then give turn back over to Kylo. And now Kylo can go ahead and stun Range Trooper. And once that is set up, uh, you just want to target Stormtrooper and just hit Auto Basic. And just keep targeting constantly Stormtrooper. The good thing is that you won't be able to land buff immunity on him even with Tenacity down. So you're safe to just kind of Auto Basic here. Uh, which is nice and you're just kind of waiting for your color random mass to reach a point where he's no longer stacking max health how this works uh, because stormtrooper is constantly removing turn meter from us whenever we are hitting him and with supreme color and whenever our turn meter is removed we are getting max health and protection so once you see that your color and uh, unmasked uh, is recovering because it 
48 million or something health or 4.8 million. I don't know how many zeros is there. Anyway, once it gets 48000, this means that he no longer can stack more. He basically reached the limit that the game has coded in. And at this point, you just hit full auto and let Supreme Color Ren ramp up the damage and take these guys down. Just before you do the final blow, remove auto play because again, you want to a little bit start here uh with the wave 2 with a manual play because AI is really dumb uh, it will just constantly be using Kylo's AoE but obviously in order for us to ramp up damage we have to get some stack of Siphon first uh, so that's why we want to start off uh before obviously we start doing AoEs and hit full auto uh just use a stasis strike a few times just to get uh, uh, you know, enough stacks here of Siphon that you can actually start increasing your damage significantly. So we've got one out uh, over and on Aiden. And uh, I think I'll get a couple of more and then we should be able to hit full auto. So again, not a complete full auto uh, battle, but mostly. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, get uh, another stun there. So more stacks of Siphon for Super Meter Color Ren. All right. Okay, let's get another stun again. More siphon on us. Okay, all those counterattacks and then uh, see through press this thing, just constantly charging up your ultimate. So even by not doing AoEs, just doing uh, you know single uh, target damage, I was able to get a sty siphon. So after this initial uh, four stuns that I did, now I can just hit full auto and Kalo will ramp up. The good thing is that the whole you know. Uh, health and protection that we stacked up in wave one it carries over into wave two so as you can see color and their uh, color and mask tanking everything without any problem so mostly auto playable this one up next we got uh, the honda missions on this one i am using galactic legend ray now this one takes to be honest like 25 minutes um so what i do is i actually just auto play this one uh just make sure uh when you get into the second wave that you again put the target on somebody and yeah you don't have to babysit this one just make sure when it's auto play that the target is enabled on whoever and then they will uh take care of this now this round when i was recording was probably the worst one i've ever had they were able to snipe um ben just at the right time i don't know how they were able to do it usually ben survives as well hondo dies off doesn't matter because he's not light side uh, and from here on out again, as long as you got target on somebody, eventually you will work them down. Good thing is Ray Jedi Training's got healing immunity that can't be resisted and cleansed, which stops their healing. And then uh, Cal constantly healing up Ray. Ray can constantly keep spamming life blood, giving you lots of bonus protection. And eventually with the whirlwinds, you get one down, you get another one down. And after two enemies are down, then actually her ultimate starts doing meaningful, I guess, damage. Oh yeah, takes good 25 minutes, but at least it's an autoplay, you know, you don't have to like intervene too much. Uh, just here to start a wave two, because whenever in autoplay, at the start of wave two, target will be removed. So you definitely want to start a wave two again, uh, put a target on somebody and eventually <laughs> you do work these guys down. There we go, 25 minutes later, you are able to autoplay this mission. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, so here we got Sif Eternal, but I'm doing Palpatine lead uh, just so we can start doing, you know, turn meter train on these guys. Uh, so here you do want to actually remove the target when you hear auto play uh, straight at the beginning. Otherwise, you know, when you link somebody, you can then defeat them and then you lose the link. Uh, so that's why I think just better remove the target and at the start of wave 2 anyway target does not get reapplied uh, so this one pretty much is you don't have to look at the phone after you hit auto play and remove the target so this one definitely very easy to auto play here uh, just you know running turn meter train on these guys they can't even get a turn uh, so the next the final ground mission here is Jabba's mission so this one I'm just gonna hit, hit full auto play and again remove the target uh, just so they're a little bit spreading around the thermal detonators instead of focusing just on one the enemy so that after a couple of turns they just all kind of you know die off from all the thermal detonators exploding in their face there we go in a ranker coming in for a snack already um just yeah full auto play and you should be good to go i don't have croissant and the relic six mines the relic five still uh that's why i don't use them but obviously if you do have croissant by all means to use him uh, at this point 
There we go, Jabba, you know, pretty safe one here, auto play, no, no issues whatsoever. We lose Greedo there, but you know, doesn't matter to be honest. Uh, Jabba got this covered. And we can also actually auto play Fleet Mission on this one. Uh, I'm just gonna use a standard executor lineup for that. Uh, we're just gonna hit uh, full auto and let's go ahead and make sure we remove the target. Because uh, otherwise, uh, whenever the enemy taunts there, then uh, Executor can't ignore the taunt, it will switch targets to TIE Bomber. And then the other guys, while they can ignore the taunt, they will just keep hitting Bomber anyways. Although, they were hitting Bomber for the most part anyways. But you get the point, I think it's better to remove the target. Uh, so that again, they're just, you know, doing their thing a little bit, getting around the taunts. A little bit spreading the damage and things like that. Um, so what I brought in, they brought in IG first, then they're bringing in a Slave 1. We got this in the bag, to be honest. Just uh, I'm not sure we'll, that we'll even need ultimate for this one. No, we didn't. Uh, so yeah, good news. Felucia in Sector 2, all missions can be auto-played. Uh, now, from good news to not so good news, uh, Baraka is a little bit uh, less forgiving. So in terms of missions that can't be auto-played, um, is the Jedi mission. I tried it and all those assists and attacks out of turn. Maybe Jedi Knight Cal, if you do have Omicron on him, potentially could auto play this. But with uh, either Jedi Knight Luke Leak or Jedi Master Luke Lee, that was not able to do it. Maybe Jedi Master Kenobi could auto play, but then without Commander Sokatana, because she's not Jedi. I don't know. So this one I'm still playing manually with Jedi Master Luke. And then obviously the Seer mission, uh, auto playing it. Yeah, Jedi Cal is is basically an idiot uh, on offense, if you're or defense for that matter. AI just doesn't know how to deal, how to use Jedi Cal. So this one as well, I'm not sure you would be able to auto play it. Um, maybe if you get lucky, but yeah, these two missions you have to play manually. However, the other two missions you can auto play um, uh, if you have obviously Leia and Kenobi. Uh, so with Leia, just hit uh, full auto play, remove the target and a lot them get to work and yeah let's got this on lockdown i mean all these stuns fractures and everything uh Leia's definitely a very good uh team to build up for territory battle she can basically auto play most missions and then we are in the next wave still not not applying the target let them just kind of working around because they can ignore taunts anyway so they will not get stuck behind a taunt and things like that um, that's a good thing uh, about Leia, so they're just kind of going around, spreading the damage. We obviously have to exhaust all the revives first before we can actually start defeating them. Uh, Chewie coming in there with at and fin AT -AT finishing them off. And then the other mission that we have uh, is uh, as well, same one, but using Jedi Master Kenobi. So before I hit autoplay, I will put damage immunity on General Kenobi, so he can take a tank a few hits. Uh, and then to begin with, uh, here in this uh, wave, um, you can remove the target or uh, manually move it around. The good thing, if you do uh, target in autoplay, make sure that you are moving target around. Otherwise, whenever, for example, probe droid gets a taunt, you'll just constantly be stuck on probe droid. Uh, so you have to a little bit babysit here. Now, especially in wave two, you do want to move target around on second sister, get her down as quickly as you can and then move target onto other purge troopers, otherwise you can eventually get overwhelmed if you don't keep an eye out here. Anyway, hitting the high ground, finishing off purge trooper, and I was able to auto play this one as well, but again, this one needs a little bit of babysitting, especially in wave two. And then the mission luckily can be auto played here as well by using profundity. Uh, they're getting the opening sequence, but as soon as we get going, we should be good to go. Uh, so before I hit autoplay, I just target Scythe, because Scythe is the main threat. So I'm just going to target Scythe, so they uh, get him down first. The good thing, obviously, by using profanity in here is uh, no bonus turn meter manipulation, no turn meter manipulation allowed. So whenever those guys do dodge and evade, right, they won't be able to uh, gain bonus turn meter. And again, uh, the target moved on to TIE Fighter uh, because it had a mark. So once it lost its mark, I moved the target back onto Scythe. Because you can see, you know, <laughs> uh, I just tried once auto playing without interfering and I actually lost. So definitely need to move the target back to Scythe whenever you can in order for you to auto play this one. Oh, uh, we got, got him down. Uh, come on. 
Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Just died there. Uh, and that's it, guys. That completes uh, today's video. Unfortunately, unlike uh, in Sector 1, you can't autoplay all the missions here in Sector 2. Or at least I wasn't able to find out uh, the teams that could autoplay everything. And even some autoplay ones need a little bit babysitting. Hopefully, this video was useful and helpful, uh, you know, helping you save some time as you are playing through Sector 2, just showing you what teams you can use to autoplay. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what if you know of any other teams that can auto play here Sector 2. Uh, probably Night Sisters can as well, I would imagine. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me know how you guys are getting on in the, the Rise of the Empire territory battles. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.